items that I have in front of me is a yoga block. And I also have a nice long bolster pillow. Um, so maybe we can grab these things because we may or may not need them. We are going to freestyle in our prenatal yoga session here today. We are going to do what the environment brings to us. And we're going to allow our minds and bodies to simply get lost in a moment and relaxed with where we are. And maybe we can grab something to drink to stay hydrated during our session here today. And once we find our supplies, may we find our bodies in a comfortable seated pose. I am sitting in a half lotus. I invite you to find any easy seat that feels good for you. Simply using the easy seat to help ground to the, our mind and our bodies here today. Ensuring that our spinal cord is nice and long and we are not sunken down. We are nice and long. Keeping in mind that when we sit with a sunken back and we have baby in our bed, pushing, decreasing the space inside of the abdominal area. So always keeping that body nice and elongated here creates extra space for baby. As we ensure that our shoulders are melted downward away from our ears, this allows the upper parts of our bodies to relax and soothe. As we take a nice breath in, exhale. Maybe taking a moment to notice how the breath feels within the body. As we breathe our palms at heart center, coming into a seated prayer, maybe allowing our thumbs to touch our sternum if that feels good for us. As we sit here and relax and go inward for five breaths of silent meditation. More breaths. And maybe we notice that our mind and our bodies are starting to relax and soothe. We are grounded with our buttocks. We are sitting nice and tall. We are allowing our bodies to soothe and relax with our breath as we take another breath in. Exhale. Our palms to flow to the sides of our bodies. Our palms are connected to the earth. As we are taking this time to take a notice of what is around us in our environment. Simply checking in and being aware. And during our session here today, we may hear noises, we may hear sounds, we may become distracted. However, may we only allow in what is soothing for us and our practice here today. As we breathe our palms above our heads and our seated salute, reaching our palms up towards the heavens, feeling that stretch. Spinal cord is nice and long. Shoulders flows up towards the ears, feeling our bodies get nice and elongated here. Our heart chakra is open. Our chin is slightly up. Breathe in. Exhale. As we feel this stretch, we're going to breathe our palms together with our pointer finger pointing up towards the heavens, allowing our arms to slightly flow towards the back. We are in our, yes. well, we are actually in a slight back bend. As we hang out here for three more breaths, Exhale into center to our, as we separate our palms. Yes, allowing our palms to come slightly apart. Chin is up. We're gonna hold this pose as we are channeling in positive energy. We are, we are, we are channeling in what is meant for us, what is needed and what is soothing for us at this moment, at this time. As we allow our bodies to slightly lean towards the right, we are in a seated C-spine. We're not going to go too deep in the seated C-spine. Listening to our bodies, only going as deep as we feel calm. Three breaths. And maybe we can slightly gaze up at the heavens, opening up their heart chakra. Two more breaths. 
exhale into center as we allow our bodies to flow to the opposite side. C spine, flow into the left, slightly gazing up at the heaven. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale into center. We are back in our channel. As we breathe our palms together, coming into that salute. Exhale. Relax in the body, allowing the shoulders to melt downward away from the ears. It's taking a moment to relax the body, relax the mind, relax the soul. As we breathe our palms at heart center. And maybe we can allow our right hand to touch the tops of our tummies and the left hand to touch the bottoms, the bottom of our tummies. Take this time to give baby a little love. Maybe we are pregnant, maybe we are manifesting baby. Whatever we are doing, we have our, our right hand on our top bellies, our left hand on our, on our lower bellies, and we are sitting with our spinal cords nice and long. Heart chakras open, chin is slightly up, with our eyes gazed down or closed, we are going to manifest. We are going to meditate. We're simply going to take time to notice how we feel in our bodies at this very moment. As we hang out here, five breaths. Three more breaths. Breathe in, exhale. Flowing our palms back up in the air, coming into that seated salute. As we float to the star, our palms are slightly off towards the side as we slightly twist our bodies towards the right. We're not gonna come into a deep, just a slight twist as we allow our fingertips, our palms to flow downward towards the earth. We are in our seated twist, slight twist. We don't wanna over twist our bodies when we are pregnant. As we slightly gaze over our right shoulder, we are relaxing and loosening up our spinal cords. As we hang out here in our seated twist with three breaths, two breaths, exhale into center, coming into that star. As we twist our bodies towards the left, Palms slow downward towards the earth as we slightly gaze over that left shoulder, keeping in mind that we're not going to twist our bodies too much. Going into a deep twist when we have big bellies can cause injury. So going into that twist only as deep as the body feels comfortable. As we are gaze over that left shoulder, three breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling the body back to center, flowing into that seated star. Palms are off to the side as we flow to our salute. Breathe in. Exhale, prayer. Breathing our palms at heart center, relaxing the body, relaxing the shoulders downward away from the ears. As we allow our bodies to flow onto our hands and our knees, coming into a tabletop pose. Using the tabletop pose to relax and soothe here. Ensuring that our knees are hip distance apart. And maybe our tummies, if we have the tummies, are low. We drop our tummies down even more. Coming into that cow pose. <laughs> Noticing how this cow feels in the lower, the lumbar parts of the back. As we flow to our cat, chin comes towards the clavicle, spinal cord goes up towards the heavens. Exhaling back down to cat. Flow into cat. Breathing back to our table. And go for us. Simply just noticing how this tabletop holds feel. Two more breaths. 
And if we choose, we can bring our long pillow between our thighs. And we're going to relax and soothe the mind and body here. Simply going inward, finding our comfort as we relax our bodies down, flowing into a child's pose. Maybe we're in a wide-legged child's pose. Creating that space for baby. As we bring our heart chakra downward towards the earth, extending our palms in front of us, we are in our down dog. I'm sorry, we are in our child's pose. Allowing our third eye chakra, our forehead, to connect to the earth. As we relax and soothe, taking a moment to notice and check in with mind, with body. May we hang out here for five breaths of meditation. And if we choose, maybe we can bring our palms together in our extended child's pose and breathe our, our palms above our heads, coming into a child pose prayer hands. Four more breaths. Two breaths. In our extended child's pose, we have our palms flat on the earth. We're going to spinal wave our bodies out of this child's pose. We're going to be using our palms to push our torsos forward. We're going to be using our palms to push our buttocks towards the heels of our feet. We are spinal waving. We are relaxing and soothing that spine here. And maybe we can add our head, our cervical spine into the rotation. Noticing, noticing how this feels throughout the entire spine. Three more breaths. Two breaths. As we find our pause, we are back in our tabletop pose. We're gonna remove our pillow from between our thighs if we had our pillow there. As we push our bodies up to our down dog, we are gazing back at our feet. Maybe we can walk our dog by pedaling our feet, moving our legs left and right. As we find our pause, we're going to shift to a high plank just for a couple breaths, coming down to our knees if that feels best for us. Or we can low plank, coming on to our forearms. Whatever feels best for you. Two more breaths. As we flow down to a low plank, we'll come down to a chaturanga. Or we're going to flow into a puppy pose if we have big bellies because we can't come down to a low plank or a chaturanga without crushing baby. So puppy pose, heart chakra comes downward towards the earth. Two breaths. If we're in our planks, we're going to flow into our puppy pose as well. Two more breaths. Thighs together, heart chakras downward towards the earth. Spinal wave in our bodies out of this puppy pose. As we push our bodies up to our down dog, gazing at our feet. Walking our dog by moving our feet left and right. As we walk our hands towards our feet, coming into a complete forward fold. Or maybe a half forward fold if we have bigger bellies. We want to listen to our bodies here and do what feels best for us. So we are either in our complete forward or we are in our forward fold. Whatever feels best for us. Four breaths. Hmm. Keeping in mind that we can watch forward fold if we have big bellies. We want to always create that extra space for baby here. Two more breaths. Exhale into half forward fold if we were not already there. As we flow up to our Tadasana standing nice. 
our feet are rooted, our crown chakra, our space and heavens. So we are grounded, we are rooted, we are planted. And at the same time, we are in this. We are anywhere and everywhere, we are where we need to be. As we stand here nice and strong and tall in our Tadasana. Feeling the movements here as we pedal our feet left and right, working on our hips here. As we find our paws, going back to that Tadasana, palms are at our side. As we up above our heads in our salute, interlacing our palms together, allow us to slightly flow to the back of the room. Heart chakra comes open, chin is up. Exhale and back to center as we flow our bodies to the right, coming into a standing crescent moon. Two more breaths. Exhale into center as we crescent moon opposite side. Exhale back to center. We are in our standing salute. As we flow down to our prayer, bringing our palms to our heart center, relaxing our shoulders downward away from our ears. We are standing tall, grounded and rooted. As we take this time to thank ourselves for practicing, for practicing self-care here today. As we take this time to go inward, checking in with body, mind, Noticing how we are feeling at this present moment. Simply being aware without simply noticing, being kind to self as we are aware of self. As we gaze our eyes downward, we'll close our eyes. May we sit here in silent meditation for five natural breaths. Three more breaths. As we slightly hinge at the hips, coming into a half forward fold, we're gonna keep our palms at heart center here. Our stance if need be to create space for baby. Four breaths. Maybe taking a moment to notice how it feels behind our legs and our hamstrings here. We are stretching and flowing the body. Two more breaths. As we slightly bend our knees, we are in the chair pose. Maybe we are in a wild-legged chair pose, creating that space. We have our palms at heart center, or we can extend our palms in front of us coming into that chair pose. Whatever feels best for you. Four breaths. Coming out whenever you need, coming into a half or a full forward fold whenever you need to. Two more breaths of chair pulls. As we breathe out, palms at heart center. And we're gonna flow to a half forward fold. Hanging out here for two breaths. As we flow to a complete forward fold if we're able, otherwise we're gonna stay in our half. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale into half. As we flow up to our Tadasana, breathing back to our salute. Exhale the prayer. Flowing back to our Tadasana, palms are at our side. As we take our left foot and step it forward, right foot is towards the back. We're going to go to our warrior, our warrior two. Building strength here in the lower parts of our bodies. I'm going to hang out here for two more breaths. As we flow to warrior one or high lunge, whatever feels best for you. In our high lunge, we have both foot forward and our warrior one 
we have that back foot slightly off towards the side, body's twisted. Warrior one, high lunge. Two more breaths. Exhale back to warrior two. Breathing back to warrior one or high lunge. Let's twist our bodies forward, coming into a pyramid, relaxing our hands downward towards our feet. We are in our pyramid pose. Torso relaxes over that thigh, head relaxes downward. If we slightly push our bodies off to the side here in our pyramid, always thinking of baby, always creating space for baby. As we bend that front knee, we are in our runner's lunge. Exhale, down dog. Gazing back at our feet as we are walking our dog. Finding our balls, walking our hands towards our feet. Complete forward fold. Exhale into half. As we flow up to our Tadasana, we are in our mountain pose. We're going to pedal our feet from side to side here. As we find our pause in our Tadasana, taking our right foot forward, left foot is towards the back. We're going to bring our arms forward and towards the back, flowing into that warrior two. Holding this pose in the low body. <sighs> noticing how we feel, noticing how this feels. Two more breaths. As we flow to warrior one or high lunge, whatever feels best for you, warrior one or high lunge. <sighs> two more breaths. Exhale to warrior two. Breathe back, warrior one, high lunge. Twisting our bodies forward, coming into that pyramid. Hands come down towards the feet. We are filling here in our pyramid as our torso relaxes over that front thigh. Coming off to the side if we have big bellies. Three breaths. Bending that front leg, coming into that runner's lunge. Exhale, down dog. Gazing back at our feet. Maybe we can walk our dog by pedaling our feet. Moving legs left and right. <sighs> Finding our pause as we drop down to our knees. We're going to a child's pose or a puppy pose. We're just going to simply relax and soothe the mind and body here. And we can grab that pillow. That feels good for us, placing that pillow between our thighs or bringing that pillow in front of us. Whatever we come into that child's pose, puppy pose. We are relaxing the mind, relaxing the body, allowing baby to come to relaxation here as we are gonna go inwards for five breaths. Three more breaths. Coming into that extended child's pose, if we were not already there with our palms flat on the earth, we're gonna spine away our bodies out of that child's pose. And we're gonna come into that tabletop position, moving that pillow between our thighs, Ankles coming seated pose. That's one second. Bodies flowing onto our side. We're going to come into our side in our fetal pose. We're going to take the long pillow or big pillow and place it between our thighs. And we're going and we're going to grab a pillow, place it underneath our heads if that feels good for us, or we'll use our arm. And we're going to relax here in our fetal pose. For a couple breaths, what we are doing is we are relaxing the mind and body, 
Let me go in inward. Taking time to show body and mind and baby a little just peace and relaxation here. And in our fetal pose, maybe we can envision the fetus within. Envision the growing fetus inside of the belly or envision the growing fetus that you want to be in the belly. Maybe we are manifesting baby here. Whatever it may be, we are going to hang out here in our fetal pose as we envision what we want. As we envision what is in the making. Raising our eyes down or closing our eyes. As we breathe in, exhale. Eight natural breaths. Allowing the body to completely relax here. Feeling connected to the environment. Feeling connected, grounded, and rooted to the earth. Five more breaths. Three breaths. Two breaths. As we slowly wiggle our toes and rotate our ankles, we're going to switch to the other side if we have big bellies. However, if we if we, if, if we are less than five months, maybe we can flow onto our back. But if we have big bellies and we're above five months, we're going to flow onto a fetal pose on the opposite side. Simply just flipping the body over to do fetal on the opposite side. However, if we have tiny bellies, not so big yet, maybe we're going to flow onto our backs, coming into a knees to chest. Yes. Bringing those knees into the chest just for a second. As we lift the legs up in the air, legs on the wall pose. Noticing how this feels as we allow our left leg to go downward towards the earth, right legs in the air. We're going to do that extended hand to toe, reaching that right hand to that right foot, maybe bending our knee, and then maybe straightening that leg back up. Feeling that stretch behind our legs and maybe bringing that torso towards Bringing that leg towards the torso, if that feels good. <sighs> Feeling that stretch here. <sighs> Two more breaths. Breathe in both knees to chest. Flowing up to legs up in the air, legs on the wall. As the right leg comes downward towards the side, left legs up in the air. We're going to do that left hand, left toe, extended hand to toe, leg towards the torso. Still in that stretch, we can bend our knees if need be. We'll have that leg nice and straight. Three more breaths. Two breaths. As we breathe that legs into chest, knees to chest. We're gonna flow those legs up in the air, legs on the wall. And for those who are in a fetal position on the opposite side, maybe relax and soothe and go inward. Gazing our eyes down and closing our eyes. Maybe we can place our palms on our tummies and simply relax and soothe for a couple more breaths as we rub our tummies and show baby a little more love and affection. For those who are on their backs, we are, we are in our legs up the wall pose. We're gonna flow into a happy baby as those who are and there, and there for the months for envisioning happy baby. We're gonna bring our knees towards our chest, feet is up in the air, in our thighs, hands come out towards the side as we connect them to our feet. We are baby, relaxing and soothing here. As we are envisioning happy baby, happy pregnancies, 
happy moments. Yes. And maybe we are lifting one leg at a time up towards our head, still in that stretch. Or maybe we are simply staying still in our happy baby. Whatever it may be, it is all about happy babies. It is all about envisioning a happy life, baby, healthy baby. Four more breaths. Two more breaths. As we straighten the leg back up in the air, bringing our knees towards our chest, bringing our feet downward towards the earth, and we're going to flow on to our side. We're going to flow on to our opposite side here. We're going to meet the moms with bigger bellies. We're going to meet them in fetal pose on the opposite side. We're going to place that pillow between our thighs. We're going to bring that pillow underneath our head if we have one, or use our hand for support. And we're going to gaze our eyes down and close our eyes as we are envisioning happy baby. We are envisioning healthy baby as we take our hand and place it on our tummy. Gazing our eyes down and closing our eyes. So we are relaxing and soothing and going on with here. Mind is relaxed. Body is relaxed. Baby is relaxed. Four more breaths of our fetal pose. Two. As we slowly wiggle our toes, and we're going to our ankles, using our top hand to push our bodies out of our fetal pose, removing that pillow from between our thighs. We're going to find our bodies on our hands and our knees, coming into a table top pose as we drop down to our cow. Exhale to our cat. Flowing back to our table. <clears throat> as we work on a sunbird pose here. We're gonna bring our right leg out to the back. Feeling our body's balance here. We have both of our palms on the earth. If all feels well, maybe we can extend that left hand forward. Right leg towards the back, left hand forward. If we need to keep our balance, we're gonna just keep both palms flat on the earth. We are still in our sunbird, whatever feels best for you. We are building strength and balancing the body here. Two more breaths. Exhale back to table. Dropping down to our cow. Exhale to cat. Flowing back to our table. Sunbird opposite side, bringing that left leg towards the back, both of our palms, both of our palms are flat on the earth, ensuring that we feel like we are nice and balanced and stable here. If all feels well, we can extend that right arm. So we have that left leg going forward. We are in that full sunbird here. As we are gaze forward, just want to say that we can always lower our toes downward towards the earth in our sunbird if that gives us better balance as well. Whatever for you, get in mind. Three more breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to our table, dropping the body down to cow. Exhale to cat. Flowing back to our table. As we work on our thread and needle, we're going to take our right arm and reach it up towards the heavens, feeling that stretch. Maybe we're gazing up at our right fingertips. Feeling this full stretch as we breathe in. 
Exhale, right arm stretch through the left. Heart chakra comes downward towards the earth as we gaze our eyes down. Maybe I'd leg it here as we are hanging out here and then thread the needle. And if we choose, we can take this left arm and wrap it around our backs. Or we can extend left arm above our heads, palms flat on the earth, whatever you choose. Five breaths, thread the needle. Three more breaths. As we slowly unwrap that arm, if it was wrapped, we're going to unthread that needle, finding our bodies back in our table, dropping down to that cow. Exhale to cat. Go into table. As we take that left arm, breathing up towards the heavens, feeling that stretch. Maybe we can gaze up at our left fingertips. Breathe in. Exhale, thread the needle, left arm threads through the right. Heart chakra comes downward towards the earth as we gaze our eyes or close our eyes. And if we choose, we can take this right arm and wrap it around our backs. Or extend that right arm above our heads, palms flat on the earth. Thread the needle, five breaths. Three more breaths. As we slowly unwrap that arm, we're going to unthread that needle, finding our bodies back in our table, dropping down to our cow. Exhale to cat. Flowing back to our table as we cross our feet at our ankles. We're going to find our bodies back in the seated pose. This time we're going to come into a butterfly or a diamond. We are going to flow into our bound position here. Bounding our feet together. In our diamond, our feet are further away from our bodies. In our butterfly, our feet are closer towards our bodies. So maybe we can do both and see which one feels best for us. Also in this eye or diamond pulse, if you notice, it creates that extra space here. It's just creating that space, giving that space here for baby to relax and soothe. So we're gonna hang out here in our diamond or our butterfly, connecting our hands to our feet. Our spinal cord is nice and long here. Remember, when we sunk our bodies down, we lose space and belly. So always keeping that body, spinal cord nice and long here. Heart chakras open, chin slightly up, as we allow our head to relax between our shoulder blades. We are, we are in our seated cow. Exhale into cat, chin comes towards the clavicle, spinal cord goes slightly towards the back. We don't want to squish baby, so slightly towards the back. Two breaths. Exhale back to cow, head relaxes between the shoulder blades. Breathing back to our diamond or our butterfly. Gonna take a moment to notice how we feel. And if we're able, only if we're able, if we have that space here for belly, we're gonna slightly hinge at the hips just a little. Just a slight hinge. Noticing how we'll feel that in our hip flexors. This diamond pose opens up the hip flexors. It is stretching and just basically preparing the body, the pelvis. But we don't want to overstretch, keeping in mind that that relaxing hormone is in full effect. So when we overstretch, we may be causing injury. So just go down a little bit. As we allow our eyes to gaze down or close, and we allow our bodies to relax and soothe. Four more breaths. Two breaths.
as we flow back up to our diamond or our butterfly. Spinal cords are nice and long. As we take a nice breath in, exhale. Crossing our feet under, we're gonna flow into a cow face if we're able. Flowing into that cow face, or we'll just come into any seated pose that feels good for the body. But cow face if we're able, because we're gonna take some time to massage and play with our feet here. We're gonna take some time to apply pressure to the pressure points on our feet. Yes. So with our hands to our feet, maybe start with our toes and squeeze in the toes, noticing how that feels within the body. And squeeze it with any way and any amount of pressure that feels best for you as we switch to the next toe. Maybe our eyes are gazed down or closed allowing the body to relax and completely feel what we are doing. Flow into the next toe. And the next. And the final. As we apply pressure to the fronts of our feet, the balls of our feet. Mm -hmm. Noticing how that feels the center of our feet and maybe the heels of our feet, just using our thumbs to push in. We're going anywhere around your foot that you feel needs it at this moment. Three more breaths. As we find our pause, ensuring that our spine is long Shoulders are melted downward away from the ears. As we breathe our palms up above our heads and our salute, feeling that stretch, heart was up. Placing our hands together, pointer fingers pointing up towards the heavens, allowing our arms to slightly flow towards the back. We are in our slight back bend. Exhaling back to sit. Our prayer. Shoulders relaxed. Our chin is relaxed. Our facial muscles are relaxed. As we take this time to thank ourselves for allowing ourselves to practice self-care for mom and baby here today. We allow ourselves to practice mindfulness and meditation and manifesting what we want today. And maybe we're not pregnant. Maybe we are trying to manifest. Whatever it may be, may we take the time to thank ourselves for practicing and for showing up here today. As we take a nice breath in. Exhale. With our eyes gazed down or closed, may we go, may we relax and may we focus for five breaths of silent meditation. Two more breaths. Now our palms to flow onto our bellies. Any part you feel, maybe it's on the side, maybe it's on the top or bottom, whatever you feel as though your hands are needed. Placing the palms, the healing palms, the energies onto the bellies. Feeling what we feel, knowing what we know, wanting what we want, and believing we shall get it. Breathe in, exhale. The light in me sees, appreciates, and respects in you. Namaste. Palms at heart center. Thank you. <laughs> 